as she's drawing it back and we go a little farther into the swing. We're watching the left now, the attack, and now her hand is there and now her hand is behind her head and then it goes even further back. Look at how far back it goes. A great cue to me as a defender that she's going to be swinging away. <coughs> but and actually we'll take it right on through, and then she whips it forward. So we don't see as much of a cursive E, but what we do see from this angle is that the hand often goes behind the head. Now we'll watch the one on the right, which is the tip, and her hand is in front, and her hand is in front, and her hand is in front, and her hand is in front. Pretty nice cue as to what's about to happen. It never disappeared behind her head, it never went even farther to the point where we could see it behind her head. Um, and so I talk to athletes, ours and others, that if you watch the athletes in your gym and they're playing pepper, you probably all play a little pepper in the course of warm-ups. We do. Uh, not a lot of it, but we do some. And when athletes do that kind of pepper, the normal, normal back and forth pepper, and they take a swing, Every one of the USA athletes has their hand whipped behind their head when they're swinging hard. It looks uh, no different than you might expect. And it just whips behind. That's my cue that they're going to swing hard. It's very difficult. I've only seen a couple of athletes in a very long career who could get their hand behind their head and then break it out and slow it down at the last minute and tip. And I had less precious tenths of a second to defend that, so I had to play a tiny bit shallower because it was really hard to read. Or, or, or it, it uh, forced me to read a little later in the play. So what I tell our athletes, and I tell athletes that I work with everywhere, is you should demand of your pepper partner that they should hit at least one roll shot and at least one tip in the course of pepper. Let's say we're gonna play for three minutes uh, and you and I are playing pepper back and forth, I'm gonna order you to tip to me once and order you to roll to me once, but do not tell me when it's happening. I've gotta look at my pepper partner and get those cues and look for that hand that's disappearing behind the head or not disappearing behind the head as most tippers just go straight up and the tip and the hand never went behind me. And, uh, and so if they demand that of each other, then even in those three minutes we can get a tiny bit better at reading opposing hitters. Uh, we have to make each other work a little harder and we have to help each other in learning this reading ability and what a great way that is. And even if you're only doing, we probably do no more than three minutes of pepper in our USA gym, but it's still an opportunity. To, and, and of course, the key is don't tell me when it's going to happen. You have to do it when I don't expect it. So you mix it in at some point, and maybe if you tell your athletes, you're, we're going to go for five minutes today, you give them the warning or the two, you know, two, two minutes left, one minute left, so that they all know that they've got to get in at least one tip, one roll. Let's see if we can flip here. There we go. Um, then, if I can do this, another thing you can do, at least for those of you who, uh, well, if you want to look for opponents and hitters, I've even been able to, let's see if we can get it going here, is take, all I did with this camera is I pointed it at my, at our uh, big screen or flat screen at home. This is straight off TV. And yet you can still, using the slow motion camera that I told you about, you could play the TV or play your HDR back that you recorded the match, and you can make little clips. And so here's a hard swing from first team All-American Kanani Danielson from Hawaii. Um, I would interject that, as, as I said, there are horrible tells out there, so I'm not going to show you any of them because it wouldn't be fair to pick on any of the hitters that are still in the college game, but there are huge tells that, uh, that give things away that you can pick up off just watching a little TV, TV even, and, 
and making some, some clips that way. So that's her swing. Again, things come back hard. You can make it from the other angle too, but I won't show you that in Canovia. Um, and then comes the roll shot. And she does a reasonable job of getting things back, but you can see right, right there, the elbow's higher, and it never really gets back, and here comes the roll shot. One more time. Roll. So, you can use that camera to take uh, sources off, or, or take, make footage from a lot of different sources uh, in this to, again, try to help your athletes, send them clips. You, there are ways to uh, give them, there's a service called Dropbox. You can put little clips in their Dropbox folder and uh, then it'll show up on their computer and they can look at them at their leisure. All these simple and almost all free technologies available. So I talked about the cursive E. Isn't that a beauty up there? Uh, best I could do with my uh, mouse there. Okay, uh, so again, making any activity more mindful, more game-like, and that's where we want to encourage them to use Pepper to get to be better. Um, the next thing we do is we use what we call, we have some occlusion software, and this is where you see live action, and then it freezes right at a certain point of contact. Uh, and then you quiz your athletes, well, what's going to happen next? Maybe you freeze a setter just as she's touching the ball, and you ask your middle blocker, which way is she setting? Is she setting forward, backward? What are the cues? So let me see. So um, i get my cursor back over there. Uh, during the last World Cup, we were getting ready to play the next to, next to last match. It was against uh, China. And they have a couple of strong outside hitters who like to hit off speed a lot. So uh, one of our staff members, Jenny, I don't know if you're here, but thanks for putting this together. She put together a little homemade test for us with Windows Movie Maker, I think. We just pulled some, some clips and played them at half speed and then did the test. So let's see here, make that bigger. So here is a Chinese outside hitter. I know it's not super clear. I don't know, maybe we can dim the lights just a bit, but here she is at half speed, hitting hard down the line. I'll play it again. And then you have a half speed. Again, we're trying to get closer to real time here because what this ability really is, is seeing things in real time. So we do a little view of her hitting the off speed shot. And here she is with the off-speed shot. You can see the hand never got back, there was no cursive E, and so uh, the tip was given away quite early, or the roll shot. So then what Jenny did was she just put together, I think, four clips. And so what happens is the clip goes to a certain point, and then it will go black. Like that. Alright, so hands raised. How many, how many think she's going to hit hard? In fact, I'll, I'll go back and play it again here. Um, so it's going to go black on you, and, and uh, everybody saw it, nicely done. So then we actually play it to its full completion, and it was a roll shot, but essentially the same thing. We know that it's not going to be a heart attack. Here comes the next one, and it'll freeze. How many said hard hit? A lot, yeah. Let's see what she does. So there you go. And then two more clips. Again, this is off our game film, so it's not the clearest ever, but in a darker room, there are some good things to see. And now we're getting closer to real time in the sense that we don't have it slowed down, but we have an actual view of an actual hitter. How many say off speed? How many say hard hit? Okay, more hard. Let's see here. Yep, delivering the heat cross court. And then the last clip of her. I heard a lot of rolling off speed, exactly. 